SESAM Genie is the preferred tool in the market for designing and analyzing offshore and maritime structures. It is used all around the world for both floating and fixed structures. The main benefit for using SESAM Genie for fixed structures is that you as a user can efficiently use the same software throughout all stages of the life cycle of a jacket. The model data that is used in initial or feed studies is used throughout the analysis stages by simply adding more information for use in more detailed analysis like in place, transportation or launching. In other words, there is only one model to maintain. The same data model can later be used for modification and requalification stages. With SESAM Genie, Modification and requalification projects have now been made easy. You can reuse old data for these projects and the data may come from older versions of SESAM or from other systems like for example SACS, STAD Pro, ANSYS or NASTRAN. By importing your old data into SESAM Genie, you will save a lot of time because you will not have to do remodeling all over again. SESAM Genie will in addition give you information on the quality of the model and will help understanding the modelling done maybe a long time ago by other colleagues. In other words, more and more companies simplify their modification and requalification projects by importing old data from other systems directly into SESAM Genie. The first thing we do is to start the programme. We accept which options we will use from the program. We make a new workspace and in this case we call it SAX Import. When we import data we can choose what kind of units we want to work in and even if the model has been created in millimetres or inches we can automatically convert into metres and kilonewton as in this case. We select the import files and we select from a catalogue where we have stored the model data and also the pile soil data. First we pick the model as such. We are going to use enable model repair because we see that many old models where you might believe that lines are on a straight line are actually not on a straight line, so here we adjust them. We also see that in many models there are tiny little elements that we ignore. These are really of no use. We also import pile data and we pick from the same catalogue the pile soil data and we say go. What happens now is that the program converts all data to SESAM Genie format and we start to see the structure appearing here now. So what has been converted now is everything related to the structure topology, geometry, section properties, hydrodynamic data and so forth. We change the background to white so it is easier to see. DNV software is in the process of generating a converter on soil data as well. We have a prototype that can generate the soil data into a script file that we can import like this and now we have the model more or less complete. We can look at, for example, some of the hydrodynamic properties that have been converted. So if we go to properties to the hydrodynamic folder and let's imagine we want to look at the hydrodynamic diameters and where they are applied, we can use the colour for the option. So when we zoom in, it shows where they are located. Of course we can turn off various views so it is easier for us to zoom in and control. Colour coding we do for absolutely all properties that we might have. This makes it very easy to understand and appreciate older models. This model already has wave load data as part of it. 
There are many load combinations, so if we go to our analysis that has automatically been set up, there are a number of load combinations that combines hydrodynamic loads and also manually applied loads. We will run analysis so you see how easy it is to take the model and to basically just click the run the analysis button. So then we go to tools, analysis and we go to activity monitor. In this case the default is set up so it uses the finite element model that has been imported. We shall recreate the finite element model based on the concept model that we have here in Sesam Genie. Then we use this option that is called always regenerate mesh and now it is a matter of clicking on the start button and we shall look at this in real time. The PC that is executing the analysis is a standard PC. It is not a high-end machine with for example advanced graphic cards. Now it has done the wave load analysis. It is doing the non-linear pile soil analysis together with the linear structural analysis and it is soon ready. Just the final iterations now. Before we load the results from the analysis, back to the concept model. The ability to look at results from a concept level is much easier than when you look at it on a finite element level. We can decide which result attribute to look at. In this case, we select displacements. So we say we want for this load combination called ST12. We want to look at all the displacements. So what we get to see here now is the total or maximum deformations for this particular load case. We can choose to go to another one where the wave is coming from another direction. For example, this one. And now we have other results because the loading is different. And the same we can do for code checking. We can do it for beam forces, beam stresses and so forth. All in all, it is really easy to import models from other systems like SAX, STADPRO, ANSYS and NASTRAN. Of course, DNV software can and will support you during this process if you have any questions. Please contact our sales department to see if it is also possible to import old data from your company into Sesam Genie.